So basically, I, Eric covered this really well, actually better than this slide, but it's, it's Chinese buyers are, there's a lot of Chinese buyers right now uh, buying all over the world, not just in the US, but uh, buying in, in every country. I, I have a course where I teach real estate agents and uh, about 30, 35% of the buyers are, are my students are Chinese and the other 65 are, are agents, the English speaking agents, usually English speaking uh, all over the world. So Australia, UK, uh, New Zealand, South Africa, provide value to Chinese buyers. Okay, I want to say how to find buyers, how to provide value, and how to close the deal. Right? How you can provide value, you have to have a niche. Okay, I want you to be yourself. If you're gay, you should be gay on your social media. Everybody should know. Yeah, if you're out of the closet, if you're in it, you're into it. This is kind of like, I think BFF is a good example for my Chinese friends. I call, I, I call buyers their friends, you know, because if they're not friends, they usually don't buy from me. You know, really, it usually doesn't happen. So if, if we have some kind of connection, uh, Chinese tour group, a lot of times it's, it's really about making money for that tour group, not about having fun, right? So, so if you're just kind and you just care and you try to help people have a good time, and you, but you also understand, you can do very well. I think Chinese buyers, they know if you care, personally, I think. Even if they're kind of hard on you at the beginning, I think they know the difference. That makes that, that, makes that works for me. Okay, uh, let's see here. So yeah, you want to be an expert. Uh, you know, one thing, there's different ways to skin it every day, and they were all down the street. So I took a picture of the buses, and it was new, right? They weren't there before. Now all of a sudden, there's all these tourists. This is actually in Tokyo, but and the, the story's in Osaka. So I saw them, and I said, I was kind of wondering, so I asked them, you know, what are you guys doing here? How long do you stay? Where are you, where are you sleeping? What's your, you know, I just tried to talk to them. To the, and I, you know, what's your situation? You know, and they would say, oh yeah, we stay up in the mountain over there in Australia. Okay, so a lot of the information is online. So if you want to sell a hotel, you want to find out who bought a hotel before. Don't try to sell it to some new company. Find a company that already bought a hotel overseas, because they'll have an overseas buying department or an overseas buying person that you can contact because they'll have a system already in place and they'll have the legal system all thought out, right? So you just have to, you don't try to sell it to a new company. Always